Hello everybody, my name is Magnus and welcome back to Let's Play Shining Force 2. Last we left off, we finished up the bridge battle and now we are in the town of Tristan. We haven't done anything else yet. Uh, didn't have a lot of time in the last one. So we're gonna go talk to people, see what random items are around, uh, and then get to the next spot. Hey, what happened here? We had many hopeful visitors coming to see Machula, but now nobody comes. Well, everything was kind of blocked off, so... Ugh. I've not seen her here, but she is in the shrine. Machula's shrine is behind the caverns of Tristan. Machula receives her holy energy from the ground orb. It rests in the statue of Machula in the shrine. Why don't you go and see? It hasn't rained here lately. No kidding. Everything is okay as long as Machula is here. Well, we're going to find out about that. Storytellers in the shrine tell us the legends of the world. Sometimes it's difficult for us to understand their true meanings. Of course, it's the, the, the town all about Machula. Uh, not to be unexpected. Devils? They better not come to Parmesia. As long as Machula and Vulcanen are watching. Well, Vulcanen's not helping. Oh, you're from South Promethea? Welcome. The longer you stay, the more you'll like it here. Well, I mean, this is one of the better places. Alright, let's see what, uh, they got here. Uh, Buster Sword, Great Sword, Javelin, Chrome Lance, Large Axe, Great Axe. Alright, so I think that there's, uh, some upgrades here. The brass Knuckles are definitely an upgrade. get it yet. Uh, so that, and well, I don't have anybody uh, using axes right now. I bet you that Chrome Lance is an upgrade. There we go. Get some attack power on these guys. Oh, the range isn't nice. The range is nice. Do I have another? No, I don't. Uh, and then, I think I already have a great sword. Yeah, Luke has a great sword. That's <laughs> Slade. Uh, but we... Man, it'd be great to have Slade here. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think it's just the brass knuckles there. It is the last thing to upgrade. Oops. Messing that up. Uh, duh. Oh, I gotta repair. I, I do know I need to repair. I don't think I had to repair this. It's just the power ring. There we go. So do that. Selling. Yeah, so the good part about what I have is, is that uh, I do have a lot of unarmed guys right now, so that helps out with the money side. And I am forgetting where I'm looking here. There we go. Yep. Now I can go through and buy it. Sorry, Nintendo Power Glove. This is a Sega game. And look at that, 69 attack. Fantastic. Okay. I don't think I need anything else. I can figure that part out. Alright. Now we didn't talk to this. Tristan was ruled by the goddess Machula. So we have no king. I think that's it for the beginning. Is there an item back here? No. Okay. And we'll start going through the caverns behind Tristan. And have some fun. So yeah, this is just the gimmick of the town. Is that it's the Machula town. Uh, makes sense. Guys, Machula can control the weather. A few wizards in the shrine can also use the power of nature. And that is a statue of... Machula. Always get to just check around. I could look at a guide, but it's more fun this way. They've got the cavern music. Let's go through here. A lot of hidden, or I say hidden items. It's not really hidden. Um. Okay. So I um, don't use now. Just got the protect milk. 
Oh, no! Uh... Give me one second. Alright, and we're back. I just did something really stupid. I just was going too quick. What I meant to do is to go to Chester, protect milk, and we're gonna use it on Higgins. Uh, cause I need him to survive the rest of the game. <laughs> um, and he's gonna be, I'm gonna be using him for the rest of the game, so since he's gonna be at the, up the front lines, his defense is pretty atrocious, uh, I'll be giving it to him. Boosted by two, okay. Uh, that was, that was really bad on my part. <laughs> Really bad. Alright, we go underneath here. There are some hidden pathways in, uh, in here. I'm pretty sure. Um, uh, hold on, where's this? this is one laid out to the main one? Yep. Well, before we go that way, did I go down here? It was just the priest that was over here, right? Yep, yeah, just the priest. Okay. We'll come in through this way. And there's a lot of little treasures that are around. So yeah, you see, and I can kind of reorganize myself. So I did lose some healing items on the way. Uh, I probably should just pass the mithril on to Jaha. It's no point in being attached to Bowie. Now, I do have enough mithril to where uh, I can sell it if needed. Uh, if I'm running out of money, so that is always an option. Um, that's Bowie too. Just getting set up here. Uh, Bowser never lives long enough to end up using the power, uh, the healing seeds. I'll keep them with the medical herbs just in case. Okay. I still have healing. Yeah, pretty much on everybody. Okay, cool. There we go. And we can go through here. But just getting myself set up. But the, yeah, there's little, lots of little treasures, little passageways. Get your places. I forgot if there's any ones that you can't see. They, this game tends to have a lot of those little passageways that can't actually see what's going on. Enter here. Think that that would be a bad spot to go to, and it's not. Then you end up over here, and <laughs> you have to come back around. Uh, but I think that's pretty much it as you go through. And I mean, if it's just some healing seeds and whatnot, it's not that not bad. You can't enter Machula's Shrine right now. Sir Astral, what do we do now? Hmm. Bowie, what do you think? I'm not sure. Bowie, it's obvious! I agree. We have to see the storytellers and listen to the legends. Make a break for it. Wait, wait, you must not enter the Holy Shrine. So be it. Let the truth be known. And gives up pretty quickly, and uh, we have a teleporting priest. Go away! The devils already occupy the shrine. Devils again! Bowie, attack! And then we're into this fight. And oh boy, did I have problems in this fight in my last playthrough that I was doing a similar thing. Uh, what mostly makes this battle difficult is that you don't have a ton of space uh, initially. So you've got these worms off to the side that can almost immediately hit you. The wyvern that's over here, that one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, so you kind of have to avoid those tiles. You got this group that uh, over here that kind of moves in. Uh, we do have some new enemies. Uh, so you have the Orc Lord, 
Uh, so not terrible on attack, but now that it's not an unarmed flying guy, the defense that this guy has plus the HP is just... It gets... It's pretty bad now. Uh, pretty tanky guy. So you have two of them. Uh, and then you have the Dark Knight, which is the boss for this battle. Uh, again, more tanky. Plus that 87 attack. It's nothing to sniff at. Like, this is... It's getting pretty bad. Um, so we are going to have to uh, take this on pretty carefully if I want to survive pretty well. So that means I need to avoid these two and probably take on these worms first, uh, which I will do momentarily. Let me see how far they can move, though. One, two, three, four, five, six... So that's just immediately over there. Uh, so that's gonna be fun. Huh. I think initially what I'm gonna do is use a protect ring over here. And just just to get Luke uh Luke's defense up, so he's a bit more survivable. Oh, well, there's a crack. There we go. And he's in position to be able to take on those worms wherever they end up moving. Okay, so he moves down in. Now, we do have the terrain here, so that's another thing to, to account for uh, from them. Um, I think, because he moved over here... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So all of that's in danger. This is probably the safest place I can put Rick, and he can't attack right now. So I'm just hoping that I can go a little bit before the, the worms. And it's tempting to do this. How much defense this may have right now? It's not a lot. Uh, 46 plus 41. So that's 87 worth of stats. They've got 93 attack. I, I cannot stand on that land effect tile. One, two, three, four, five? I, this might be a safe spot as I go through. I could do the initial hit, but I really w don't want to get first hit by by those guys. Here we go. This is a power ring. Gerhalt's good because you can actually walk through these areas. It's nice. Of course a crack appears. Ah, oh, man. It's okay. We will live. Uh, Janet, I want you. I want you over here. This is this is just a precarious position. I'm trying to be more cautious because if I go into this way too aggressively, and uh, and she's poisoned. Oh, that's not good. That's not good. That's not good. Uh, Rick's probably dead. No, no, he's not. He's got more defense. So he's not boosted. So that's yeah, that's not good. Okay. Uh, but what we're trying to do is avoid that wyvern at the same time that we're taking on these guys. Unfortunately, this guy is on the terrain tile. But it's hard to deal with the movements. I really wish that they did what uh, Fire Emblem ended up doing, which was showing where the enemy can attack. Uh, but that's alright. Now, Karna has a good amount of attack, so right now, that's a very good option. I do have to be careful with May because uh, she is poisoned. I need to heal her. I forgot I have the Chrome Lance equipped for him. We got plenty of archers though so I can kind of shoot around. Get past this initial section and just kind of take on the enemies one group at a time. Didn't activate them, thank god. Uh, yeah, we'll take on we'll take on the worm here. Leave some room for some of our other guys to come in. Good job, Road. 
and we should be okay. Now, I can just bait the wyvern in, which might be nice. Pass him right there. And give Luke this kill? Sure. That's perfectly fine. Oh, you don't have anything. does, so I'm going to have to use up a, a good amount of healing power to heal her, but that's okay. That's what Karna's around for, besides the boosting. Now, I don't have detox or an antidote, so that middling two points of damage is just going to be an annoyance. Okay. We are fine so far. I really wish that that wyvern had already gone. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. For now, we'll just use the medical error for Rick. He's gotta get healed up by more anyway. There's another wyvern over there. Come on and attack the juicy bait. And just gang up on the wire. But we're almost done with this section, so that's really good. Fantastic. I am going to be setting up some guys, because it doesn't seem I've activated them yet. One, two, three, four, five, six. Probably. It didn't seem like they were affected by the... I am gonna set up here. Uh, we'll see. Just taking out the wyvern. Why not? I know I have some other lower level characters, but I mean... <laughs> I had to have some higher, higher power guys. I need to get myself set up for the next round, though. The next set of guys here. Okay, so now they're moving towards me. We'll take on the left group, then the right group. And we should be fine. Should be. Should is always the keyword. Pretty safe spot. Yeah, boost is expiring. Damage. All the fun stuff. I should remember to heal Rick when I can, uh, but protecting up is going to be the priority here. There we go. For all of our frontline combatants. Nice increase of defense. Drive Karna. An infinitely useful character here. Okay, uh, so what do I want to get rid of first? I think it's obvious these worms are way too tough. And start damaging them as soon as possible. Uh, everybody else doesn't really actually kill me too much. Uh, so it's not terrible. They can hurt, and I did set myself up for a Blaze 3, but uh, I think I was going to do that anyway. Uh, this is a little bit risky with Rick, but I mean, we get we have a chance to kill this worm. I will exchange Rick at this point in time. <laughs> and he gets a level up, so uh, no attack. Of course, no attack. Two defense, though, so that's nice. Didn't activate that yet. 
again, more damage. Peter getting hit by a Blaze 3 won't matter. He takes so little damage from it. Doesn't do anything. Okay. And I can be over here. And I think I can just take him out. Well, Higgins, Higgins is useful. I so I I I think in my last playthrough, for some reason, he just wasn't doing really that well. Uh, but I guess Higgins is more useful than before. Ah, and Rick is probably dead. Oh no, he's not. Hey. Oh yeah, he's got he's protected. So that's fine. That works. Okay. I keep thinking that he die. He's gonna die. No, he survives. It's nice. It's nice to actually have characters that survive. Yep, and that defense tile is getting to me now. Really wish I had some magic going, but... Um, I don't think that this is too dangerous for Gerhalt. He does have uh, his boost up. Okay, so it's just his attack expired. Um, Luke, I think, will be okay over here. Uh, now it's starting to get a little bit risky as I go through, but... If I bring down a monk who doesn't have the most attack out of all this... Uh, then I'm not really that mad. And look, another kill for Rick. Get him some experience to catch up, which is fantastic. Now we're just going to get Janet, who's still actually keeping up with... I mean, she's got 59 attack. He's got 65, but he's four levels you know, higher and has the power ring equipped, so she's actually keeping up pretty well. In fact, is she doing better than Road? No, not better than Road, not yet. But I mean, she would be. Keep some perspective on that. All right, so I'm going to ignore this wyvern for right now, uh, unless it starts charging. I really need to take out that right group, so I need to start transitioning to the right. This terrain really messes me up, but it's all right. No, that's just going to be a theme. Still a 30% tile. And that'll be fine for her. Yeah, so the the knight up there won't come down. Um, I'm not too worried about that. That's what I wanted. I wanted them to start moving. They're going to start bunching up towards the, the top there. Just positioning ourselves. Can I heal there? I think I can. Yes. It's so hard to kind of see the squares sometimes, to see where they end, uh, and how many squares away that it is. Again, if, uh, if we're going to have future incarnations, like, as for the modern systems, uh, that'd be one thing that I would desperately want, uh, from, from that, uh, from a new Shining Force series. It's being able to display all of those, those things, kind of like the Fire Emblem style, and just, not because Fire Emblem does it the best is because they have a system. <laughs> I'm sure that we can come up with something that, that works out well, but no, it's the exact opposite of what I wanted. Counter attacks. Oh, I wish I'd get to that wizard, but that's okay. Keep Gerhalt attempting to survive here. Nice critical hit. He's starting to he's starting to get there. <laughs> Eventually. <laughs> Eventually he gets there. So, I only put Rick up a little bit, or Elric a little bit up, uh, more up, just because I don't know how far some of my other archers can go, and that might just be their spot. It's not worthwhile to use that yet. And Bowie hasn't even gotten into any action yet. <laughs> Which is fine. That's okay. Alright. Now, they are kind of bunching up over there. Uh, we do have this wyvern to worry about. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Which 
which I'm barely clearing. Uh, if I wanted to bait him over, I could. I think that it's a little necessary, but Peter would be in kind of in danger. Uh, just from the possibility of getting multiple attacks on him. This is worthwhile. I think I might uh, bait some monsters down to go kill me, but uh, I th I'm alright with that right now. I'm trying to take out. There we go. I'm trying to take out this Master Monk so it's not bothersome anymore. Getting there. Eventually. Yeah. I don't think that would have been the right time for it. Um, we're going to continue healing up. Because that's what Karna's been regulated for now. Used to go up a lot more of her MP through healing than through boosting, but that's okay. Uh, she's getting up there in level, so that's nice. And I cannot get through there. Is that. The, do the stairs count as. Huh. I never knew that the, the stairs seem to count as adverse terrain, it seems. Maybe? I don't know. It's just weird how, how... No, no, it's just not counting as strength. I'm just looking at it weird. Actually, hold on a second. Because the wyvern just went... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay. So I can move Peter... I'm probably going to be able to move Peter and Luke out of the way before anything. And this can give me a kill, so... Again, can get blazed three, but I was kind of already counting on that happening. Good level up. Good level up, Higgins. Um, but I'm counting on Peter and Luke being able to move before that wyvern. Okay, that's not the worst. Alright. I'll take that. I mean, the Master Monks are, are not that hard to kill. Let me make sure I'm not putting him into too much danger. One, two, three, four. Okay, so this actually is a safe position for him. Again, Blaze 3 is a thing. It'll happen at some point. Maybe. Uh, unless I can get to him first. Which will be interesting if I can. Alright, yeah, I can I can outmove uh, that Wyvern. I think Peter's spot is the dangerous spot, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Yeah. Um, so Luke is not necessarily in a great position. Uh, so I can either go here, bait the wyvern with him, and kill the master monk, or attempt to kill the master monk. Uh, or I can try to put in a cheap shot to this wizard, uh, which I think I'm going to do. If he's going to die, might as well go out in glory trying to kill the wizard that's going to blaze through everybody. Yeah. Like I said, I knew it was going to happen. I guess may. I have plenty of guys to... Uh, to work with with the, with the amount of enemies right now. Uh, may have baited the Dark Knight, which is not as fun. Ooh, good job, Luke. I don't think he's living, but... No, oh, he lives. Nice. That actually is really good. Uh, let's see here. Let's just get rid of the wizard, I think. We just get rid of the wizard. Ah, well. Attempt to get rid of the wizard. Man, he really needs to get those attack threes. <laughs> yeah, let's just... We, we are going to get the wyvern over. I do realize that. Trust me. Uh, but it won't be Rick. It won't be Rick. Might be Gerhalt. That's okay. Good job, Rick. Ooh, HP by three. That's very nice. I think this position is still fine for Elric. I'll just blast down this Master Monk. And he'll probably be healing himself, which is kind of perfectly fine by me. Good level ups. Janet joins in. It's kind of nice having all of these... Ooh. Oh, nice! Wonderful, Janet! Didn't gain a level, though. 
far are you away from me? You're probably really close to it. Eh, eh. You're kind of close. Okay, uh, we do have to deal with uh, all, all of this. But my major concern is going to be dealing with these two, and the Orc Lord is on a 0% tile, meaning I will do full damage. Which, I mean, 17 isn't great, but it's it's okay. Yeah. Garl's going to take a hit. It's not dead. So that's nice. Man, I've been really waiting for that Wyvern to come by. Uh, but I have so many guys that are in that range, uh, I am not caring anymore. And I well outnumber the enemy now, so that's pretty good for me. Uh, I can heal Gerhalt. I think I'm gonna heal Gerhalt. He might survive the Wyvern if it comes through. But, uh, maybe. He survived that. He's he's pretty much on the edge of being able to survive the wyvern hit. All right, Bowie gets his first attack for the battle. At least we have him. So where does he go? Right to Gerhalt. Oh, that works out really well. Nice. Um, this is yeah, this is not bad. I'm still going to take advantage for the Orc Lord, because he's so tanky that the 15% actually does a lot for him. Alright, uh, Luke still surviving. Uh, we do have to take down this Worm and the, the Wyvern, so we're going to prioritize them, and then go after the boss, and I think we're good. Okay, <laughs> he's just attacked on a Luke. I did put him on a 0% tile, though, so... Um, uh, hold on one moment... Okay, good. Oh, that's what it is. Okay! So, we are going to just continue on bringing the pain. That's only got 7. I will keep using... I'll keep going through with the range. I'm just trying to prevent counterattacks and from bad positioning, because somebody else can fit in Merc's position and hit the boss. Like Gerhalt. Well, actually, Gerhalt can just surround, so if I can block the Dark Knight's exit, that means that he has to face me. And I'll try to keep him on that tile. This, however, is fantastic. If I can hit. 31 damage. Good job, Karna. That's mostly because he doesn't have any defenses. So, I think, yep, Jan is able to take him out. That's a level up. No attack, though. No, that's disappointing. Alright, Higgins. Ooh, you don't, definitely don't survive if you do that. I oh, still have that equipped. We'll do full damage to him. Fantastic. I do have that Wyvern though. I figured Gerhal was gonna die. That happens. I'm not really too concerned about the battle anymore, so we will just try to kill everything. Get the experience for it. Uh, I don't see... Maybe one other guy will die. Maybe Elric. 31 damage. Nice. Um, Bowie's not going to die standing on here unless you know, really bad things happen. Gains a level out of it, so I'm going to call that a win. And Road gets the final hit. Maybe. Mostly. And gone. So, I did a lot better that time. Uh, I think I like my team a lot better. Uh, besides Kiwi, uh, everything's going pretty well. Um, so, I'll just go up to the doors to continue with the story. Welcome, Grand Seal Force. What? I heard a voice from the other side of the door. I am Zalbard. 
one of the greater devils. Do come in. Of course, you can go back now and abandon Machula. Sir Astral, the greater devil that attacked Bado was was as strong as Vulcanen. Are you talking about Sir Odd Eye? Did he fight against Vulcanen at Bado? Yes, he lost. I can't believe it. Odd Eye is the strongest devil among us. But we haven't been able to contact him lately. This is good news for me. If I get the Jewel of Evil, I can take his place. Now enter the shrine. Machula is here. What should we do? A greater devil awaits us inside. Odd Eye. Odd Eye. Odd Eye. Sir Astral? And Sir Astral's just thinking about it. I think I've heard that name before. Sir Astral? Hmm. Sir Astral! What? Peter, don't scare me. <laughs> Just let the man think. What's wrong with you? Should we go into the shrine now? Oh, sorry. Zalbard. At least he's not as strong as Adai, but still, he's a greater devil. We had better complete our preparations before we go in. Okay! Totally prepared. What a pleasure! Nice to meet you. Oh, he's ugly, isn't he? <laughs> what? You dare insult me? I've never... For that, you will die! That reason alone. Are you ready to die? We're not okay. We, we are gonna go back, uh, but this is just a preview of what we're up against. Oh, man. Um, a turn? C can I get my turn? <laughs> Jesus. That, 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 that was a mess up turn order anyway. Uh, yes. We will be fighting Zalbard next. And enter in the question mark attacks. We'll go over this battle uh, once we come back. Uh, I will be... Uh, not doing anything except for aggressing so I can go through and, and uh, revive some guys. Because I would have done that. I just wanted to show you that part of the story. So, normally in my playthrough I don't allow the aggress, but this is just for the story mechanic because I could have just easily walked back. Doesn't really actually make a difference. Let's get through and raise up everybody, and we'll call it a day. Uh, but yeah, the last time I played through that battle, uh, I had some problems with it. I think I just was way too aggressive. I let those wyverns come in. Uh, the wyvern come in at the same time as the worms attacking me. Uh, so I think I'm just doing a little bit better at uh, my defensive stuff and my proper baiting. Uh, and at this point in time, it's really knowing when to go all out and when not to. Uh, I probably lost a couple of extra guys that I didn't need to. Yeah, the poison the poison is cured, cured when you raise. So that's confirmed there. Uh, but now and now that I knew how to do that, I think I'm gonna do a lot better on this playthrough. Uh, and I do like my team. Is they're doing pretty well. I wish Janet got a little bit more attack, but hate it happens. Uh, I will also have to go and repair that power ring. I have to remember to do that. In either case, uh, thanks for watching. If you like my content, please uh, like and and comment down below and subscribe to watch what's coming out next uh, i put this out pretty much every friday uh so far i've been trying to keep up with that uh keep up with that pace and so far it's been working out really well uh in any case i'll see you next time goodbye